Cryodog here again, bringing you another iPhone 6 tip. Uh, today, I'm going to cover a little bit about uh, Spotlight. So Spotlight is a tool used to search uh, your phone. If you have a Mac, it's used to search your Mac. You can also search um, or get search results on many different things. So in this video I want to show you how to access Spotlight on your iPhone 6 as well as how to change the search results that you get back when you perform a search using Spotlight. So let's get started. So to access Spotlight from any um, screen I guess on the desktop be the obvious place you just want to swipe down you swipe up to get rid of it, swipe down to bring it in. Um, and it brings up the spotlight search screen. Then you can enter the criteria or the keyword that you're looking for. Now this will provide results from the web, for applications on your device, text messages, all kinds of stuff. And I'll show you how to get into that to change what results are displayed back to you. So basically it works like any other search. Uh, you put the keyword in, hit go, it gives you the results. Um, this can be very powerful uh, if you're the. It can be used to do malicious searches as well as you know, like your own personal search if you're looking for an email or a conversation you had in a text message. Since a lot of people store information about their daily lives on their phone such as text messages and pictures and that kind of thing and it's very easy to find out a lot of information about them by doing a search through spotlight and looking at their text messages and emails and those kinds of things let me just give you um let me type something here Maybe I can pull up a Stuix box live. Okay, so you can see gives you some information, suggested websites, Wikipedia, emails that found with those with Xbox Live in the description. And it also gives you the option to search the web or search Wikipedia for other items. Um, if I had would have had a text message it would have showed that as well so I'm going to show you how to turn these things off that it turned return search results from so let's go into settings then we're going to go into general then spotlight search <clears throat> all of the items listed here could potentially return a search result from so if you uncheck messages, reminders, whatever, it's not going to show up in your spotlight search results. So if I were to take out mail and go back into the spotlight search, do another search for Xbox Live, you'll see that there are now not any mail results or search results from the mail app. So, it can be very useful. It can be very uh, maliciously used. Uh, so, just putting that out there, I don't condone any type of malicious use whatsoever. So, um, just saying that functionality is there. So, that is pretty much it. You can tweak the search results however you wish. Um, I use Spotlight occasionally, not very often, but it is very useful uh, when you need it. And um, it's a very nice addition, I think, to the iOS uh, platform. It's very useful on Mac OS X as well. I use it there as well. A very good app uh, for searching. And I guess that's about it. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any comments or questions, Leave those below and have an awesome day.